What's up everybody? This is Aircrete Harry and in today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to operate the Aircrete Harry foam generator and how to adjust the air pressure to get the correct foam density. So the Aircrete Harry foam generator you can get on aircreteharry.com Also, I'm not going to be using but I just wanted to show we have the Aircrete Harry thickener and the Aircrete Harry air entrainment those are very good additives to add if you're making aircrete. It'll make your aircrete stronger. It'll allow you to pour, taller pours, and just a lot of benefits. So today I'm using the FM160 Drexel. This is my favorite foaming agent. I've made lots of videos in the past comparing Drexel to Dawn and 7th Generations and the Drexel just came out on top of all of them. So for the Drexel, you only need to use four ounces of this foam solution in five gallon bucket of water to get a very good foam density. If you're using Dawn or seventh generation, I found you need to add 25 to 30 ounces of that per five gallon bucket to get the equivalent foam density as you could get with four ounces of Drexel. Anyway, so here we have the foam generator. And as you can see, it's marked on the cap what each port is for. So this is our air in. And here you can see I have my valve here that I'm going to simply just plug into the push to connect fitting. And my air pressure coming in is set to maximum from my compressor. So out of the compressor is coming here at 180 PSI. So whatever your air compressor settings are to the maximum, you want to have it. So 180, if it's 90 PSI, that's fine. Have it coming in at 90 PSI because we're going to adjust the foam density with this valve here. So on the top of the generator, we have the foam wand. So this is the foam wand here. And that's plugged into foam wand. And in foam solution, a little tip that I always recommend to people. This is an old tube I have for over two years now. Is when you put your filter on, put a little weight on the end. So if you have this weight on there, it'll sink to the bottom of your foam solution bucket. And that'll make things much easier. Another piece of advice for your foam, make sure to keep the bucket clean from debris because you don't want anything going into your pump and you don't want anything to contaminate your foam solution because having good water, good clean water is very important for making foam for your aircrete. Okay, so we have everything hooked up, foam solutions in the bucket, the wand is here. So the very first step you have to take when operating the foam generator is you have to prime your line. So the first step you want to take is to turn your pump on. I'm using the foot pedal. So I'll turn the pump on until I have liquid coming out consistently. So as soon as we have that, now we know we're good for making foam and we just have to turn the air on. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to zero out the scale to the bucket. Thank you. So you can see we're at zero, zero for the bucket. And we're going to fill this with foam to see if we get the correct density. Now this scale only does pounds, so I'm going for a three pound bucket. So I usually shoot for 2.8 to 3.2 pounds so you see we got good flow now I'm going to turn the air on
This is going to be heavy. And after you're done using the foam generator, you want to turn your air off. So this is the first bucket. We're going to weigh this and see how much, how much we have. So as you can see, that says nine pounds, one ounce. That's way too heavy. So that means what we have to do is we have to turn the valve to add more air pressure. And so by doing this, we'll be adding more air, which will make the mix lighter. Okay, so we're going to turn the valve. It was set to 30. I'm going to pump it up to 45 on here. Now another important technique is once I step on the pedal and turn the air on to begin making foam, this valve will drop down a little. And the best way to test is to adjust this valve while you're making foam because that's more accurate of the pressure coming into the, into the system and into your wand opposed to when it's off. When it's on, the air will be flowing through and that will be a more accurate. So as I'm making foam, we'll check to see what the pressure is reading. Okay, the liquid's coming out. Now we're making foam. You can see it looks a lot creamier. So it's definitely lighter. Okay, so I'll just use the wand to swipe that off, and now we can weigh this. So that says, mean three pounds, five ounces. So that's really close to what we need. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna point out what the pressure was. And as you can see, it's 40 PSI. When I turn it off, the pressure jumps up to 58 PSI. So while it's on, it's 40 PSI. So I'm just going to give it a little more air. And with the valve off, I just added two more PSI. So this says 60 now. So that means once we're running, we should hopefully be at 42 PSI. So let's test that out. Yeah, so it's 42 PSI there. So we're going to do one more measurement. We're at 42 PSI and check the weight. Bam! Perfect. Three pounds, one ounce. So, just a recap. The first time I did it, it was at nine pounds of foam. 
we turned the valve, we added more air, and now we're down to three, three pounds, one ounce. So if you were at one pound and a half or two pounds, that would mean you would need to decrease the amount of air going into the system. So if I go above, if I go say to 65 PSI, that would be making my mix probably be around two pounds, five ounces is what I would estimate. So point is, if you're light, you want to reduce the amount of air. And if you're heavy, you want to increase the amount of air. And that's it. So once again, the AirCrete Harry phone generator is available at aircreteharry.com, as well as the thickening agent and the air entrainment. And as far as foaming agents, I highly recommend the Drexel FM160. My number one recommendation for a foaming agent. If you could get it, definitely get it. It might be more money up front, but in the end, because you're only using four ounces per five gallons of bucket, you end up saving a lot more money using Drexel FM 160. And very important advice for the coming winter is winterizing your foam generator. And all that means is taking all your tubes off of the foam generator because what you don't want is your pump to get damaged in winter. Make sure you're plugged in and you have the foot pedal ready. Just hold it upside down and step on the foot pedal. This is to pump out all the liquid in your foam generator. So there we go. We got all the liquid out. Store it this way for winter. You don't want to have any water in there because the water can freeze and end up damaging your pump or damaging the tubing that's inside of here. And so just to avoid all that, make sure your pump is fully drained of water. It's very important that you don't have any water in the tubing inside this unit or in the pump itself because if that water freezes it can crack and damage a lot and so just to avoid all that you just simply do this procedure I just showed you okay so once it's all out then you're ready to store it away for winter thank you for being a value customer this is Eric Harry peace out I love you all and I'll catch you later